G'day YouTubers, g'day people, how's things? Hope they're doing as well, if not better, for you. So, anyway, it's been a little while since I've posted, so, uh, quite a few things have happened with why I can't. I'll just turn this down a little bit more. I've had a bit of a hiatus from uh, probably my very last video that I vlog that I put up. A little bit of a clip. I'm having a rethink on a lot of things, uh, trying to work out a lot. Um, but the biggest thing is, since I come back, I've got a cramp in my foot now, so it's kind of annoying. Get out of me. <laughs> anyway, so I will uh, now get back on track. I just lost my train of thought. Uh, yeah, cramp. I get it very bad. So, yeah, no, I haven't travelled anywhere uh, for a while now. I don't have any plans for the simple fact that uh, since I come back from my last trip, uh, that was a very su big surprise trip for a few people, and it worked out very well. But getting back on track, uh, I do have an elderly father who's 86 years old, and since I come back from my last trip, which I just mentioned, uh, I have noticed a difference in him. He's still quite active, uh, does quite a few things, but I see a lot of changes. Yes, Mel, that's my other, that's another thing I'll comment on about. Um, so that sort of has made me, do I travel? I do have three dogs. Millie is the one that was growling then. Billy, which is asleep on the floor, and Teddy who's asleep on the chair over there. Anyway, that's another story. So from there I, uh, I made the decision I won't be travelling anymore so I can keep an eye on it. Nearly. I uh, went through a really bad stretch uh, late last year um, with her and the medical issues. We found out why she is the way she is. Uh, it's because she is now uh, diabetic. She has to have regular injections twice a day, regulated food, uh, and dispensed accordingly. And that can be a bit of a nightmare. I juggle that with what work I do at the moment. Uh, it can be a real pain, um, so I deal with it. The two other dogs, uh, they, they're not okay, uh, but Millie does take quite a fair bit uh, of regulatory uh, medical things, so I, uh, I just deal with it as I go along, but uh, unfortunately I, uh, I can't trust my father to do things as most people know with about diabetics, you have to be very specific in the times you got. Uh, whereas I can't regulate through the new technology they've got, uh, I have to do it as uh, regulated through the amount of insulin with the same food all the time, so I can't vary either. Uh, she does have a regular checkups and everything seems to be going all right. Yes, I like everything, you do have good days and bad days. But on top of that, uh, that's probably the biggest reason there and him father, uh, not quite being the same, but trusting him to do uh, the medication for Millie, that is a big issue because you could either do, do too little, she goes downhill really fast, you give too much, she goes downhill really fast and don't want any drama as far as that's concerned, so I just turned around and uh, made the decision, no, that's it. Him being a lot different, I noticed that specifically from the last time I went away and I did not like it, so that is, has been a big decision for me. Uh, a, a few other family problems that have uh, arised, I should say, no, no, don't go down there. Uh, and trying to deal with that as well, get through that. Um, my mother is in a nursing home, she is at the end of her life, uh, as far as a normal life is concerned. Uh, She's basically just a vegetable uh, until her will to survive. We can't talk to her, or well, we don't talk to her because we can't. Uh, she just sits there, and uh, the nursing home is well equipped, equipped to uh, deal with that situation there. They did say we were to look after her, but 
uh, what she needs is professional help and that's what she's getting right now. Uh, a few other little family issues have come up so anyway we deal with that. Uh, what I've done as I said I did go over to Cambodia uh, for a surprise wedding. I felt really bad kept saying to her uh, no I'm not coming, no I'm not coming because I want it to be a big surprise. Uh, I, the, the last few days before I did travel I told her I'm not coming at all, I can't and that's as much as I've left it and I felt really bad as you would when you know you actually are coming and they're really really disappointed. So the first surprise was when I get there I didn't tell anybody else, I just rocked up. Uh, everybody was sort of, whoa, <laughs> that, to me, that was just absolutely fantastic, uh, the surprise there. Uh, I did do a little bit of filming, I did put up a couple of videos while I was there and that was about it, but I did fall rather ill with the usual. Um, should I actually move this to here? I'll keep that music going in the background. I will put up a link to that one. And uh, uh, that's about all I've done since then. Uh, I did get the flight over from uh, when I left here to Changi. I did get the uh, take off from Changi, which was spectacular. I did buy a new camera, my Sony AX53 digital video camera with optical stabilizer. Oh, I'm wrapped in that low light this performance. If you do uh, get a chance to see one of my videos leaving Changi Airport, I'll leave a link up. Yeah, it'll be there. Uh, and uh, check that one out and you'll see what I mean by the absolute quality. Uh, I do have to get a few more little things for it. I'm just debating exactly which direction to go with them. Uh, whether I go a remote microphone, uh, which is a big thing. Uh, affordability, I just can't just at the moment. I'd love to. I'm trying a few other little different ideas on that, but we'll get there. Uh, from there, uh, I went into, I filmed the landing in, uh, coming into uh, Nong Pen. That is there as well. Um, from there, I went and done a little surprise visit to there. Uh, then I went to one wedding, which uh, the family was told once they realised I was there, don't say anything. And from there, I uh, that's a few days after that's when I did get a bit on the uh, sick side, not too good. I tried to do a bit of walking around, I just didn't go, so I took a um, break of doing anything for uh, a couple of days and I started to come good which was really good because I was really worried I couldn't go to the other surprise which was end up being a wedding uh, there was actually end up uh, me being two weddings so that was fine and uh, done the first one that's when the family were told not to say anything and the second one was the surprise I was planning and planning and saving and doing everything for, even though I was only, I was only up there for 12 days, uh, that was probably the most best uh, surprise I could probably ever give anybody. Uh, because when I uh, got there, I thought, no, I'll hire a van, got down to where the wedding was for that night, and uh, instead of thinking, no, get out last of the van, I was the second one to get out because I didn't realise. Uh, when we got there, instead of parking at the very back where everybody was parked, we went right to the very front. So, needless to say, uh, the person in the front seat got out and they pointed out where she was. And now I got out and oh, that is, didn't quite see because, as you can see, I didn't have these on. And uh, that was fine. And then I thought, oh, I just ducked down. But when you're in a foreign country, you turn around and uh, I'll just put it different mix on, I'll do a play on. And uh, uh, she actually spotted me, she had a whole group of friends and people she knew around her and uh, she sort of just stopped and just stared right at me. And I knew I was sprung, but that was probably the best moment of the whole lot when she realised, because as you can see, I'm not exactly <laughs> tan. 
and uh, she spotted me and just came over. You could just nearly see the tears in my eyes and just the smile and the happiness. They just made all the effort. She said to me, I thought you're not, you weren't coming to my wedding. I said, how can I not come to your wedding? And just the smile and the beam, and then when she told her, well, she was married by then, uh, when she told her husband, he just had a smile on his face as well. I was actually done, just watched a little live clip from a Facebook blog from her. She gave me a bit of a wave. And uh, that was fine. I had a really, really good night with the whole family and catching up with them uh, and everybody else. Uh, the night turned out really, really good, awesome. Uh, didn't get drunk. <laughs> that's, uh, that's another thing as well. I, I intentionally didn't drink uh, for that reason. I just wanted to sit there, have a good time with the whole family and uh, enjoy myself. And from then I come back and that's when 